Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ember if you're new here and welcome. Today we're gonna talk about curving the urge to binge or like binge eating and we're gonna jump straight into the video. So let's go. I used to love food. I always used to think about food. I was always busy with food in my head and that's one of the reasons why I gained so much because I could never stop thinking about food. Thinking about how much I've actually gained in such a short period of time is mind-blowing. Like and not in a good way. Why did I gain so much in such a short period of time and why did I not do anything about it sooner? Well, I tried. I tried a lot of time and I never really found a diet that worked for me. I tried a lot of diets and every time I tried a diet I was always thinking about food while on that diet. So it never really helped me. I only thought about food even more than I already did. So that caused me to go into like massive binge episodes because all I could think about was food and I was like, I need food now, I'm so hungry. Just thinking about how I felt the times I tried a diet compared to how I'm feeling now and how good I'm feeling because I'm eating so healthy is just mind blowing that I did not do this sooner. What was the reason why I binged so much? So one being is that I tried many diets that didn't keep me satisfied or that had me constantly thinking about food which caused me to overeat because I was scared that I wasn't getting enough food because why else would I be thinking so much about food? A lot of times it was also boredom, like I was just bored and I needed something to do. So what do you do? You eat because that keeps you busy, it keeps your hands moving, it just feels like you're doing something. and. Food also brought me comfort, so whenever I was bored, I would eat, but it was would also give me some sort of like comfort and feeling of happiness and made me somewhat like feel good. Besides that I was bored and it just brought me comfort, I also had no willpower to change how I was feeling or whatever I was doing because it never worked before. Why would it now? Like why? Every single time I tried a diet, I would overeat. Like, why would that change now? So my mindset wasn't in the right place at all. And because of that, I never felt full. So I always felt like I was hungry and I needed food and I needed to have something to keep me satisfied. Excuse me. You're ruining my video again. So what did I do to stop binging now that we know why I binged? So the documentary is just a really, really good example of something I did to change around my lifestyle, but also stop me from binging so much and gaining so much weight. So the first thing I did, and I did not do this on my own, but you can definitely do this on your own. You just have to experiment. I found a lifestyle that works for me. I found a diet that works for me. So the most important thing to do when you try to stop binge eating is finding food that keeps you satisfied and finding a diet that keeps you satisfied throughout the day. And that's what I did. I have a video on my channel about what I eat in a day. I will link it up here somewhere. You have to experiment with your diet, but make sure to keep like your calories in check and if you can also check your macros and I show those in that video so that's just a little side note. Something that also helped me stop binge eating is to change my mindset and that's not something you can do by just flipping a switch but it is something you can do over time and when I started eating healthy and changing around my lifestyle after already two weeks I felt better which kept me so motivated. So what I do now to like curve those urges if I get them is that I just keep really busy because I work out a lot and that's just one of the things that keep me busy without thinking about food. But I also don't think about food as much anymore if even at all because my diet keeps me so satisfied and one of the things that also helped me is that I changed my mindset into wanting to better myself and wanting to get to a healthy weight. Comfort doesn't come from food. I know this could be one of the reasons why people binge and I know that was one of the reasons for me because I felt good while eating so I felt really 
just in my own zone and really happy when I was eating because food made me happy and after it didn't. So realizing that that comfort is only for a few minutes or an hour tops instead of for the rest of your day really makes you realize that what you're doing just doesn't help your overall health. And it made me realize that because after eating so healthy and changing around my lifestyle, I already felt better after such a short period of time that I realized that comfort doesn't come from food. It comes from how you feel about yourself and how you see yourself. And that's something I realized and I'm really happy I realized that. And talking about that also makes me really happy, as you can see, because I feel so much better and I want that for everyone who suffers from binge eating. So what do I do now that I have learned all these things during this journey, but also during all the times I did a failed diet? So like I said, by eating a healthy diet that keeps you full and keeps you satisfied, you don't think about food that much because there's no reason to, because you're not hungry. So I make sure to just always have a meal that I know will keep me full for a longer period of time. So do I still get cravings? Yes, of course I still get cravings. Do I give into those all the time? No, absolutely not, because I try to make foods that resemble the food I'm craving. So if I'm craving something really chocolatey, I make my oats with like chocolate flavored protein powder and it sounds really weird. You're like, yeah, that's just changing it to a healthy sort of food, but that's not gonna keep me from craving chocolate and wanting to overeat on that. Yes and no. Yes, because it does have that same flavor. No, because if you think like that, you do not have the right mindset and you are gonna overeat. So when you're craving something, I really recommend you figuring out what you're craving. So for example, if you crave pizza, you're mostly craving savory food. You're not necessarily craving pizza. If you're craving a cake, you're not necessarily craving a cake. You're mostly craving something sweet. So eat fruit because any fruit is sweet eat like sweet flavored oats just something that will keep you full so the longer you are changing your lifestyle the more natural it becomes so the less natural it becomes to crave fast food and i know that sounds super cliche because you hear people say that all the time but it is true so after two weeks of trying to change my lifestyle i already felt much better so i was super motivated to keep going and because of motivation, you crave fast food way less. And one last thing that's really, really important to remember, one bad meal or one bad day will not ruin your progress. You do not have to like stop and go back to how you were eating before because you have one bad day. It will not ruin your progress. I promise you, I have had bad days. I ate stuff that wasn't necessarily supposed to be in like my whole lifestyle change so thank you guys so much for watching i hope it helps you guys in some way and if you did like the video then please leave a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe if you want to see my face more often turn on the bell if you want to get post notifications i'm getting better at this i'm also filming an outdoor so but yeah i'll see you in the next one and <laughs> love you guys bye